That's a cop. All right, what is going on you guys? So we just made it over here to this meet here in Mexico and we're gonna do go do some uh, Mexico things. So we're gonna be rolling in this bad boy and that is because George traded in the RS yeah. for a truck. Uh, I pulled the Brian, I just, I don't yeah. know, I wanted something and more And Lee over reliable. here also traded in his ST for this Fusion here. Yep. Just so, kidding. The RS is in for a transmission and the ST is in for an engine. Yeah. So let's These, go over what happened with the RS first. So I, it's had synchro issues with third and fourth for months. Literally like what, six months? Yeah, wow. I've just, I've just driven it and babied it because I honestly like, it was drivable. That's his so, excuse for missing third gear yeah. all the time. It missed third gear because of the synchro issue. Yeah. So what would happen is you would put it in gear and it would pop out and get stuck somewhere between gear and neutral. So it would do that for third and sometimes fourth. It wasn't like too crazy. Basically so, George would dial third gear no one would pick up, right? Because of that, but ne nevertheless. Insert clip here. I, I took it to Ford, <laughs> but first off that clip that you insert it was because of that. That was already happening. That was in Myrtle Beach. My clutch went in April. We went to Myrtle Beach in, in uh, Your clutch September. Went? Or not my clutch, my trans. Oh, man. Um, but with that so, being said, this man has known about that since April. We have, have told him since April to put it in the shop and get it fixed. I have. But yeah, he waits till after Mustang Week, so after huge I, trips. I didn't want to be without my car. But the good thing is, so I took it to Ford. I told him what was wrong with it. They're going to cover it under warranty. I found out within 24 hours that they're not even going to try to repair it. They're just going to replace the entire trans, which is awesome. Um, I think maybe Ford wants the trans back to investigate what happened, but I get a, I get a new trans, which is awesome. And Coggin Deland Ford. And George is going to end up buying it this. Up. I mean, I love this truck. Like, <laughs> it's so different than what I normally drive. I like it. And All then, right. So, hey. uh, and then Lee over yeah, here you, you blew know. up the ST. <laughs> Literally two weeks ago, we were <laughs> heading over to Applebee's. In New Mexico. City. Yep. Well, yeah, in Mexico. But we were in Mexico. I decided to be weird and do a flyby on, you know, someone else in a white Mustang. Don't know who owned it, but we did the flyby. I'm sitting at 130 in fifth gear. I go to grab six and my boost reads flat zero. Car starts shaking. So I downshift the fourth to get off the highway so we can make it back into the States. And it just wasn't and working anymore. Up. Yep. All right, let's cut to some Mexico action. Yo, he got murked. Right. Yo, I totally missed that. Ah, oh, no. There they go. Honda Civic. Okay, or something cool. like that. Yeah. Let me All check. Right. What is that beside us, Andrew? Not a cop, I mean. <laughs> That's a cop. Yeah, so just go around them like these other cars. Oh, thank God. Turn around. Zach, turn around. All right. Get in front of me. Go. He might just be breaking them up. He might, or he might be pulling them over. Just out. Oh, yeah, he turned off his lights. He's breaking it up. 
I still don't trust it. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he had to go around me because I wouldn't move. Yep, get out of here. I'm like, I'm just a normal truck here, officer. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Get out now. Yep. Let's just cruise away. <laughs> Stay behind. Yep. Well, get up to speed. Let's get out of this. Yeah, let's area. get up to speed and act normal. 